went to Shiprock, we went across the bridge, and that's the last thing I remember until something hit us. And I, my fantasy mind said, an airplane had dropped an engine on top of the car. I mean, this was a, a, a serious stuff. I reached out and I held the windshield, well, it, the car swung around this way and that way. And I, actually, I wrote, I was taking creative writing at the time, and I wrote it up, and Stephen King couldn't have written it better. <laughs> and you had to remember the name of the highway? <laughs> the dome. Anyway. Oh, no, 666. Six, so six. And Annie's in the back, and she fell down on a cast iron pot that I bought there in a gallop bruised her, her butt and so she got out and she walked like this a little bit and Sally was out it got her main stem brain stem just knocked it off but she was alive and we went to this hospital there with an ambulance and I'm telling you this because you don't want to ever fall asleep while you drive so Red Bull was in order, and they have a rule in those Indian hospitals that are run by the U.S. Health Department that white guys, Caucasian, brown guys, can't spend the night there. They can get emergency treatment, but they have to take an ambulance to the nearest regional big hospital. And so they had an ambulance come for Sally and took her to Farmington, and Annie and I weren't that sick, but we were bruised, hurt all over. I, mean, I couldn't raise my arms. I couldn't. I would lie down. I had needed help to sit up. And there was this Jewish doctor from New Jersey. He said, "Man, you, you've got Pontiac written across here." <laughs> right, I was going to this steering wheel, uh, and I, I did sort of like that. And later on, I got black and blue all over. So anyway. That's what happens when you have a chimichanga and Denny's and drive on that to Gallup. And you're, you're really messing up my story here. <laughs> I can see how interested you are, Wyatt. And as a matter of fact, the rest of you are sound asleep. <laughs> <laughs>